look, I'm tolerant. I'm the Mahatma friggin' Gandhi of tolerance. I don't mind what you do, what you believe, how you dress, or who you bang. To paraphrase salt and pepper, if you want to take a guy home with you tonight, it's none of my business. If you want to be a freak and sell it on the weekend, it's none of my business. I just don't care. I don't mind who you worship. I don't mind where you do it. I don't care if you think Christ is the Messiah. I don't care if you think Christ is the Antichrist. I don't care if you think you're the Messiah. I don't mind if you put on an orange robe, shave your head, and join a friggin' suicide cult. Care factor, zero. It doesn't worry me. Do whatever you want to do. Just don't knock on my door before midday on Saturday. Don't do it. I'm looking at you, Mormons. Now listen up, Mormons. A lot of people would say you're freaks, that you wear special underpants and worship some guy with magic glasses, that you're not proper Christians, that in fact you're a cult and your theology compares unfavorably to the Raelians, the Branch Davidians and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. But not me. I think you're fine. You definitely don't make less sense than the Catholics, Muslims and Buddhists. However, the Catholics don't come round bashing on my door on Saturday morning. The Muslims and the Buddhists don't come round bashing on my door on Saturday morning. Even the Salvation Army, who rock up with their trumpets, bassoons, tubers and tambourine ensemble, making more noise than Iron Maiden, have the common decency to wait until after lunch. But that's not for you Mormons, is it? You're up bright and perky on Saturday morning after going to bed at 7.30 the night before after watching some Benji movie. Well, I wasn't. Maybe I was out living a little. Maybe I was out till five in the morning drinking Kalura and milk and dancing to Yaz and the plastic population. You didn't think about that, did you? You didn't factor Yaz into your little plan to ring my bell at eight in the morning? I don't remember that bit in the New Testament where Jesus says unto his flock, go around and annoy the shit out of people by bashing on their door. I must have overlooked Deuteronomy 13.11. Blessed is the man who goes around banging on people's door at all hours of the morning, for he truly is Jesus' little friend. Listen, Mormons, I fear Dinkum have put up with your crap long enough. And seeing you Mormons seem to be so open to the concept of door-to-door -door belief pushing, well, it just got me to thinking. I've come to Salt Lake City, Utah, the world capital of Mormonism, the spiritual home of LDS, or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I've got my pamphlets. I've got my copy of Origins and Species. I've got my atheist badge. Let's do some good. As religious door knockers always travel in twos, I thought I'd drag along my director, Craig Melville. Hello. Uh, could I take a moment of your time? Hello. I'm John and this is Craig and we'd like to take a moment of your time to talk to you about atheism. Would you be interested in that? Um, actually, no, probably not. To talk, what, to talk to you really about atheism and the way it no, can change your life? No, thanks, so. <laughs> Basically, what us atheists believe that the Bible isn't really true and that it's all just stories. I'm a bishop. Oh, really? In the LDS Church. The LDS Church. Well, have you ever considered atheism? We believe that the Bible is just made up and it didn't really happen. Okay, then be we follow the teachings of a man named Charles Darwin, who's an evolutionary biologist, and he brought an amazing message to the world. For example, did you know your relatives were monkeys? Did you know that when you die, your body just decomposes into the earth and nothing happens? There's no soul, there's no heaven, God is meaningless, false and irrational. There's a lot of literature that backs up atheism. Would I be able to offer you a reading from 1980's concept band, XTC? Dear God, you're always letting us humans down. The wars you bring, the babes you drown, and it's the same the whole world round. Dear God, I don't believe in you. But just imagine if you're wasting your entire life going to church and it all adds up to nothing. Oh, you actually believe that? Huh? I, I do believe that. Oh, this this cognitive dissonance causes anxiety within you. If there is a God... But the thing is... Why? Atheism you, can cure you of this anxiety God's not supposed to by providing allow scientific allow explanations. Oh, did we disturb you from your sleep? Oh, sorry, were you doing something else? Sorry, were you enjoying your own private time and it was really intrusive for someone to come bashing on your door and push their beliefs on you? 
did you understand what I said? This is inappropriate. Take us off your list.